Hello, here's my Infinity QX80 2014 and I have a problem with transmission. When you go slow, up to 40 miles per hour, you can feel some kicking, sleeping, like something is going on. So it's RPM, RPM is jumping up and down when shifting. Slow down a little bit and now press again. You see how RPM falling down when it's switching. I don't press hard, just like very light. So it feels like wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. Oh. So what I did, I went to the transmission shop. They check. They said that they check. They said they, they they see the problem, but after 40 years experience, they cannot tell me what's wrong. They have to open transmission, then they gonna tell me what's going on. And it's gonna cost seven thousand dollars to rebuild transmission. So I check online all the symptoms, and I got valve body, valve body for transmission, together with solenoid, not used one, but re I mean used one, but remanufactured. So it means they took the old uh, valve body, clean it well, test it made all all kind of test and it cost like around six hundred dollars plus you have to install it when you do installation they you have to re also replace uh, speed sensor so now I'm going to the shop to leave the car and we'll see if it's gonna help By the way, if you press hard to the gas, nothing wrong. It runs very well. It happens only when you go like slow. It's done. This is my old valve body. <clears throat> so new one already installed. So it's hard to tell what is condition of the old one. But as you see, the oil is black, not clean. Uh, by the way, before <clears throat> I change valve body, I change, I ch already changed the transmission oil, fully flashed, <clears throat> and the problem was still there, so it wasn't solved. So then I decided to change uh, the body, and I had to flash oil again, change the gasket and oil pan. <clears throat> so. This is my old well body. Now I have to return it. Otherwise they're gonna charge me 250. So as for now my infinity runs well. I would say I would say then before uh, that before I had like six seven of 10 performance right now i have like 8 9 of 10 it's not perfect or maybe just like i'm too picky but it feels much much better and it runs like almost perfect but like maybe it it needs some time for adaptation so my problem is solved that, that the the whole thing would uh, cost me about fifteen hundred dollars. So let's say well body is six twenty five, gasketed pen and pen uh, hundred something hundred forty dollars. Labor cost me about six hundred to change well body and uh, oil transmission oil. That's it.
I went to a transmission shop, explained the problem, they and left the car to check. <clears throat> and after, after checkup, they called me and said my transmission gone, it's sleeping, uphill, downhill. He see what the problem, but like he cannot tell for sure. He has to take apart and uh, rebuild transmission for seven thousand dollars. So I'm lucky. I was smart enough not to leave the car for them. I went to another shop <clears throat> also to check transmission. They also check and say transmission is fine. They don't see the problem. But then uh, they see that uh, my voltage sometimes too low. <coughs> so here's the wo this bat your battery, <coughs> and it shows the voltage. If 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 this goes like to the half or less, you have a problem. <coughs> so I check and change. Uh, uh, Ba the battery install new battery it seems like was driving okay but then it the problem become again also i want to tell that that rpm problem was like one day is driving perfect another day is going bad i, I thought it's maybe gas maybe gas pump I thought like it could be everything else, but like you cannot find the problem because sometimes it's good, sometimes not. So I started with replacing battery to fix this voltage because if you have a low voltage, it may send a bad signal to the computer and it could have some problem. And then <clears throat> battery didn't help, so I started looking at forums, and I find, find and I found that it could be a battery sensor. So I disconnect battery sensor, charging sensor. If your sensor is not working properly, it's not gonna uh, your battery will not charge properly. Let me show you this where sensor located okay this bet uh, this is the battery and your sensor located on negative connector this is this is the sensor and connector is under the sensor so you have to you have to release this bolt take off the negative and disconnect the sensor so I just type it around so it's not gonna push, it doesn't go inside. That's it. So, problem with voltage gone. Another steps. Here's uh, airflow sensor. This airflow sensor could make you a lot of problem. Especially if you see that your RPM jumps in the, up and down. First of all, you have to check the sensor. You just unscrew, unscrew the sensor, pull it out, and use special spray you can buy at AutoZone to clean the sensor. After I cleaned that sensor, 
I noticed the cars is driving very good. My problem always almost gone. But I I am saying almost because I still notice it something, but not that bad as it was before. So at this point I can say that it wasn't just one issue. This car ha has like few issues. So here step by step. I don't want to skip anything because it could be few problems. If you fix one of them, the other problem, the other, uh, if like some unit doesn't work properly, you you will still have this problem. So first, I change uh, transmission oil once. Then I change valve body together with the oil. Then I change battery. Then. I, I disconnect uh, a smart charging sensor. Then I change the air filter and clean uh, airflow sensor. It made big improvement. But the final unit was replaced and I really get result it was uh, fan clutch fan clutch uh, so I went to a few mechanics they said it's okay it should be fine another mechanic said it doesn't look fine <clears throat> but comparing to my old clutch it works pretty like if you to, uh, try to spin it with the hand it works like the same the only issue when you driving so I think this fan clutch was sleeping sometimes catching sometimes not and it's reflect on your performance let me show you this fan clutch here you go this is the fan and you have a clutch so it's only for balls now my car is hot and you see how it's spinning this is new one and the old one i had pretty much the same because you you see this piece metal piece when i spin with the hand the old one made about one circle the same as this one so visually it's hard to tell if it's good or not but I found on one forum one guy said that it could be the problem so after replacing this uh, after replacing this uh, clutch my problem gone so no transmission issues it's pretty strong transmission and shouldn't have any issues with transmission so don't spend money listen to my video and do these steps first of all clean airflow flow airflow sensor with and change air filter make sure your battery make sure you have a good voltage make sure this is go in the, uh, this position it should be about the half another step if you have high mileage change uh, transmission oil and f and change your clutch so you will spend let's say I would s I bought this clutch on eBay from 2017 with 50,000 miles so I pay for that about $300 and replacing maybe 250 so it's like 550 so around $500 you, you can fix all these issues also I thought it could be 
uh, this torque converter but it has a little bit different symptoms a con torque converter I have like when you're driving at, at high speed and this RPM will jump up and down like this but it, you don't have this problem I hope this video is gonna save you money Put your comment if it helped, what did you do, maybe I can suggest something else.